Hi everyone, I'm glad to introduce our work here. Our paper presents a system called ER Rhythm, which aims to extract exercise and respiration rhythm in a lightweight way using a commercial off-the-shelf RFID system. Many people may fail to achieve safe and effective exercise due to the lack of measurements for their physiological signals, which could result in serious physical injuries and visceral organ damage during exercise. One key parameter that reflect the physiological signals is the locomotor respiratory coupling ratio, IRC ratio, which characterizes the coordination between the exercise locomotion and the respiration rhythm. Keeping a harmonic LRC ratio not only reduces energy consumption, but also promotes the maintenance of the cardiopulmonary functions. According to the LRC series, for human beings doing different exercises, there are a set of common LRC ratios as listed in the table. The measurement of LRC ratio provides an important indicator for observing the safety and effectiveness during exercise. However, current systems that mirror LRC is cumbersome, which require users to wear many tight sensors on the body. The bulky on-body sensors make users feel inconvenient when doing exercise. So to release the bulky sensors during exercise for extracting the LRC, we propose to employ the lightweight RFID tags to mirror the LRC. We attach the RFID tags on the front and the back chest to extract the respiration pattern and the tags on the link to extract the lo locomotion pattern. To monitor the exercise and the respiration rhythm, the face value of the RFID signal is used. The face value theta reveals the relative distance d between the RFID tag and antenna. The limb movement can bring around 5 to 50 centimeter change on the distance d, while the chest, chest movement during respiration only re incurs about 5 to 10 uh, millimeters change on d. So the phase changes incurred by the respiration would be quite small. As shown in the two subfigures on the left, the phase changes caused by the local motion movement are quite clear and obvious. But the respiration pattern in the upper subfigure on the right is quite messy and noisy to see the clear repetitive breathing cycle. Therefore, we propose dedicated signal amplification and denoising method to retrieve the clear respiration pattern. After our processing, the breathing cycles shown on the bottom subfigure on the right are clearer to provide the accurate respiration pattern. To amplify the respiration pattern, we employ the respiration mechanism of human beings. To fully investigate the effects of chest displacement on the RFID face values. When a person breathes in and out, the whole chest is simplified into a cylinder, will expand and contract accordingly. Previous work only used the front chest movement to monitor the respiration pattern, while we know that the front and the back dimension can be fused together to amplify the respiration pattern. In this way, the respiration pattern can be more obvious. Second, we denoise the noisy respiration pattern affected by the torso movement. For the periodic torso movement, it can be simply replaced, removed by a low-pass filter since the exercise movement is more frequent than the respiration. While there are also random torso movements, for example, during running, people could, uh, the top body could move backward and forward randomly. By summing the face values of the front and the back text, the effect of the vertical and horizontal torso movement can also be alleviated. Finally, for LRC estimation, we adopt a correlation-based method. The insight of this method is to obtain the most likely LRC based on the prior knowledge of all the possible LRC ratios and the estimated local motion movement rates. In specific, we leverage the given set of LRC ratios and the estimated local motion movement rate. Then we calculate a set of candidate respiration rates after which a series of simulated respiration signals are generated for each LRC ratio. Then we calculate the cross 
cross correlation between the real respiration signal and each of the simulated respiration signal. Finally, we choose the LRC with the highest correlation value as the final LRC result. The system is implemented using commercial off-the-shelf RFID devices, and we test the system performance in different environments with five exercise ex activities, including cycling, weightlifting, pedaling, rowing, and running. The accuracy of the LRC estimation can reach between 93 to 96 percent. We also perform real-time LRC monitoring. At most cases, the LRC is accurately estimated. For those inaccurate cases, the LRC is estimated to the nearest LRC ratio, so that the error is not significant, indicating the effectiveness of our system. In the future, we will broaden the application of our system to more kinds of exercise activities. This is all for my presentation. Thank you very much for your listening.